What's up guys, welcome to this episode of AC Designs and Garage and check out what we got. We're fixing to do the final polish on the 1960 Chevrolet Impala and ship her down the road. Plus, uh, we're gonna do a cool little photo shoot over here next to some barns and stuff. And uh, I'll show you guys that, so let's get at it. All right guys, here she is. Uh, she's got her final buff on it right now. I'm gonna run over real quick, just time lapse it for y'all and do the final polish. I don't get any swirls out of her, but check her out. I dig these cars right here at the wings. Yeah, we spent a lot of time and hours on this thing. I'll show you the inside. It's got all factory production interior and stuff in it. Check out that dash, guys. I cut and buffed that thing, blocked on it till I was blue in the face. I think it turned into a gorgeous car. This is the factory Roman red. This car factory had a white top on it, but the customer just wanted to paint the top red and just uh, put the, I think it's ermine white in the stripe, which I like that choice. I think it looks really good. Man, I tell you what, the, the, all the chrome and stuff on this car is just beautiful. I think he's running a 15 by eights on the back, 275, 60s on the back, 15s. He's running a 23570 15 on the front. I just, I just love these cars. The 59, 60, 61s, they're my car. I just love the way the glass is shaped and the steering wheel and the gauges and everything. It's pretty fortunate that a lot of the bright work on it was in really good shape too. Maybe next week or two, I'll put it get a video. It's got a lot of the pictures where we done the quarters, cause we took his car from bare metal, put quarters, patched all everything, and to the state she's in now. So I'm gonna quit yakky yakking and throw this thing on time lapse, and we're gonna get the polishing this unit up, making her look slicker and snot for sure. show. Here we go. But yeah, guys, we fixing to make her a little bit more shiny. I'm gonna put a quick polish on it with some of the. Let's see what we're gonna use over here. Meguiar's M205. Over here in the coves, or I can't keep up nothing too hard. Just using the old Harbor Freight polisher with a interface pad and stuff on it to shoot up in the, the coves over here because they're so tight. Then I'm gonna use the old DA polisher, the Roops, Rupes, whatever you wanna call it, Bigfoot 21 with uh, microfiber pads on it. We're gonna do the rest of it, wipe her down, take her over and get her shot. But first, before I start, doing the time lapse we're gonna open the old barn door the jewelry box whatever you want to call it to show off the 348 three deuce loom radiator air conditioner power steering power brakes all the goodies to stop and go make it a very cool cruiser i think i think it's gonna make a really good cruiser for him yeah, you wouldn't believe how many pieces these front bumpers, well, you and Pallet guys will, but man, this thing's in all kind of pieces. It's, that's a piece, that's a piece, that's a piece, that's a piece, that's a piece. I mean, everything's in pieces on this thing. The engineering on these cars is just incredible. But yeah, some of you guys are probably gonna point out, hey, that's not factory Impala, nope, that's Pontiac. But his, uh, I think it was his uncle that had, he grew up in a 60, driving a 60 when he was younger. And uh, his uncle had put them on there, so he just kind of wanted to recreate this car like he had back when he was a kid. So, all right, I guess I better get back to work. So we're gonna close down the old jewelry box and then we're gonna get to polishing this unit up. Yeah, she looks good. I'll take you in over here real quick. This is how I like to shut a hood. No scratchies, no dennies. So I'm gonna get her shut up. Got the gaps pretty good on it. We didn't do a full blown custom car gap job on it, but I think she looks very good. So that's it.
All right, guys, 48 acres later on a huge, gorgeous car. I'm done polishing, and now we're gonna go to hand rubbing. I'll run you over here real quick and show you what we use the hand rub. It's almost like a filling glaze. All right, guys, here's what we use the kind of like a take the swirl that you still gonna get a little swirls even after polishing, but we're gonna use this by hand. All right, guys, let me get you over here and run you around and show what we've got done so far. She looks pretty good. When it starts looking like plastic, guys, this she's getting right. But I really love this car, if you haven't noticed yet. This thing's got jewelry hung all over it. And the only thing I'd change about it, you guys know me, is air compressor. Sorry for the noise of the fan, but, guys, it's hot. I ain't got no air conditioner right now, so we spin it around. The only thing I'd change about this car you guys know me is the fender would be sitting about right here maybe a little smaller tire on the front but besides that i think she's awesome it's a really cool car so we're gonna run around it check out the reflection Woo -wee, she is glassy look at that mug goodness Old Chibolay did a good job on it, didn't they? Whew. We got countless hours in this, guys. I think it's almost a gallon and a half of base. We did a X Prime paint from my buddy Kenneth, and uh, as for clear, we did DCU 2002 PPG. That stuff buffs like butter. I love that stuff, but yeah, she's pretty. Hate to see her go, kinda. <laughs> but after a while, it is a lot of work to do this. You watch these TV shows and stuff, you see them done in seven days. There's a lot of pieces of these things. You can look down to reflection on down her. Man, oh man, look at them bat wings. That thing is looking right. So make sure you guys leave a thumbs up and subscribe and all that stuff if you like to see old hot rod stuff because you ain't gonna see no electric junk on this channel. This is hot rods only, gasoline only. Like my shirts I got out coming out soon at www.acdesignsgarage.com. Death before electric. Long, taking the long walk down this joker. Yeah, we done this from my buddy Freddy. I've known him about all my life, went to church with him and stuff. Super great guy, proud to do this. Hope he enjoys it and burns up the road. So if you're around North Carolina, you might see this unit out tearing the road up. So go take a quick bean break, go eat me a bean, and then we're gonna come back and hand rubber and go to the photo shoot. Here we go. Tell you what, guys, old Elon, he ain't got a chance of building a car this cool. All right, guys, that's it. That's the owner there. That's Daddy there. You've seen him in videos, but I hope he likes it. Hope he enjoys it. We're going to go out here and get some pretty shots of her outside and call her done.
out in the sun. Sparkle, sparkle. Well, guys, check it out. Out here in front of the barn where we was doing our photo shoot. Is that not cool right there or what? She looks so good out in the sunshine. I know I've said it a bunch. Two years of working on something will make you appreciate it, but Buddy Freddy, he's super stoked on it. Looks really rad out here. Looks like it's supposed to be here. The buildings wasn't so raggedy we could pull it in there, but man, that looks so cool. Hi guys, hope y'all enjoyed this little video on the 60. We got her finished up and she's looking sweet. Owner's happy, she's fixing to go. So remember, be kind to one another. Jesus loves you, so do we. God bless, we gone.